Hey what's up guys, Chriscon here and welcome to another Critics Visuals tutorial. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be creating today. Pretty awesome, as you guys can see this is from the Riddick concept I did back in the day and what we're gonna be taking a look at is the awesome blade flying through space effect or towards the camera to, in a very PG-13 way, um, let's just say, kill some bad guys, right? <laughs> so, pretty awesome guys, so with that said, fire up After Effects and let's get started. Okay guys, so we are within After Effects right now and I'm just gonna take a quick look at my project here which you can of course get access to through the Creatix Vault by becoming a member. Link in the description. So, what I have here guys, I have my footage, I have my SFX because awesome and let's take a look at what you need to do in terms of recording to pull this effect off because I think it's really cool. So, I'm gonna open up the footage clip and let's take a look looking pretty good so let's go frame by frame to see what it's been done here so the, what I did here guys if we go frame by frame in the medium shot one two three boom right there so I don't know if you guys noticed this but this is a split footage basically it's two clips combined into one to give the impression that is one clip and why I did this guys is because in the first clip I'm actually handling the blades and in the second play, um, clip, I do not have the blades. And how you do this basically is you set a tripod, you set yourself, and you test it a bit before you actually hit record, like do it one to two times so you make sure that your waist and your movement is exactly the same when you have the blades and when you don't have the blades, and then you hit record. And basically, you do the first move, you give the blades to an assistant and, or you just drop them down on the floor, and then you do the exact same thing again without hitting stop. So you have one clip where you do the exact same move twice. And then in After Effects or Premiere, you take those two clips and you cut them in the point of action, which is right here, where the blades are supposed to um, be off the hands. And as you can see, you can see that if you know what you're looking for, you can see the, the cut right here because the waist moved quite a bit. Um, but because it happens so fast and you have the motion blur, it really comes together. So, this is what you have to do in terms of recording part one. And part two is you have to take a couple of photos of just the blades, as you can see here, in rotation. Because here's the cool thing about this tutorial and this effect in general. We're gonna use stop motion to create this effect. No plugins, no anything. Just by utilizing the fact that a video clip is a sequence of photos, we're gonna combine um, stop motion photos with actual clips to create this effect, which I think is pretty cool. And then we'll combine it with the SFX and all the other goodness and we're gonna have an awesome effect, right? So let's get started. I have my composition right here and I'm just, which of course is composed of the footage, which we just took a look, a bunch of duplications of the Blades photos, a grade effect, which of course this has been graded with the Cinema LUTs Signature Edition, available on the Critic Store. And then last, we have the Blade Designed sound effects, which like I said, it's included in the Creatrix Vault project. So I'm gonna isolate the layer so we can take a look what we're doing so we're gonna scroll through here our timeline and go to the first point where the blades are supposed to be flying which is right this one let's go back and I'm actually I'm gonna close the grade effect so let's take a look at how we're pulling this off so as you can see here I have my photograph and it's just a blade right and because I didn't do a super good job in po um, while I was taking the photo photos in terms of the angle of the blade I had to make it a 3D layer, which is you just toggle the switch, change it to 3D, and then with the, the rotation tool, you play around to match the photo with how the blade is supposed to be in space. And after you do that, I had a curves adjustment just to match the overall exposure. And then the thing that sells it is the directional blur. So let's open it up. As you can see, 
a lot of blur effects and the angle and this really sells it because if I change it you can see it really fits the same and since it's a blade and it moves so fast it really doesn't matter right and then what I did is I duplicated the exact same photo twice as you can see and I just amped the exposure a bit and what the reason why I did this is because we're dealing with a 2d photo and I played with the angle as a 3d layer a lot by duplicating it you basically fill up the lost space a bit so off and on which I think looks pretty cool and that is basically it you don't even have to animate anything guys because if we we'll go to the next frame and open up the let's re-isolate everything so if we go to the next frame it's just the next photo if we isolate it again to take a look at it's the next photo and then in the next frame it's the next photo again and that's how it goes let's go to the medium shot so you guys can take a better look so again this is the action point where the blade starts flying off and there we have the blade as you can see guys and let's go to the next one and again another blade so basically by utilizing the photos you took in sequence and I did not do a great job because I only took three I would advise to take five or even I don't know five to six just to be certain you know and keep the mind in mind the angle of the blade so again just putting its photo within its frame because it's stop motion basically you don't have to animate this and you just by duplicating and playing around with how many copies of the photo you want in order to make it look great it's gonna fit and look awesome and again like if I go let's press fit in the last frame where the plate is supposed to be just slightly passing through the camera in finding its very deadly target um, we increase the blur and the size of the image to make it look so basically by playing with the properties of your photo with like scale rotation and the motion blur you can really start creating this effect which again it requires no plugins it's all with f with clips you can do it right within After Effects which is pretty great and that is it guys you have a pretty awesome effect hey everyone Chris here I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to check more awesome VFX and film stuff do check out the channel and of course do not forget to visit the creative store full of goodies like free assets cinema signature lots the black box or even becoming the elite and gaining access to the creative vault so you can take your work to the next level hit that subscribe slash notification buttons all kinds of things and I'll see you on the next one till then unleash your creativity.